Hey guys, Gunner Fan, welcome back. And today we are checking out this guy. What was that? I am a Gunner. Alright, so this, this is the lizard. Um, it arrived last week, but I've been really busy at work. Um, and then it had to be re-delivered because it wasn't delivered, but it was, they made an attempt and then I wasn't in, but I was in because it was Tuesday and then they tried to re-deliver it on Thursday and I wasn't in because I was at work and then I had to fill out a form to get it re-delivered and it was re-delivered on Friday and uh, I was at work, but they put it behind my ga garage. So it's, it's finally here. Um, and it has been a bit beaten up. Uh, the box has got some tears and some dents and mis it's misshaped. Um, it wasn't in a protective box. It was just bubble wrap and card, uh, like paper. Uh, uh, you know, just paper, you know, brown paper. So I, I, was, I was lucky that it's uh, arrived in, well, it's still sort of box shaped, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it's been, been through the wars. I've not received the box in this state for a while, so I'm a bit a bit upset by it, but I just hope nothing's broken inside. That's the main thing. Um, I think this was... I bought this from a UK seller. Um, I'll link his store down below. He's a good guy normally. It's not his fault. Um, this, I think it might have been like a direct from country sort of sale. It took about a week to get to me. So he had it for sale on his store, and it was like a direct sale. So he was like a proxy seller, I guess. Uh, but like I say, nothing, nothing wrong with him. His store is really good. I've had nothing but good, um, good, uh, th nothing but good things to say uh, about him and his store. <coughs> so yeah, definitely check him out. The link is going to be down below. That's where I got this from. Not sponsored. Paid for this myself. And this is the In Era Lizard. Now the other In Era model that I have built, or two that I've built. Now, this is where I'm going to, you know, I could be wrong, but I've built the ruling, and is it the Trailblazer? Is Trailblazer in here as well? Um, I'm not entirely sure, um, because I've got a bunch of third-party kits upstairs, and, they, you know, SNAA, new, new, no, I was going to say New Balance, Infinite Dimensions, um, in-era... Uh, entire industries, it is loads, man. It's absolutely loads. Um, um, what's the other one? Motor nuclear, uh, and so on and so on. There's absolutely loads. So, this is another one from In Era. Uh, I'm really, really happy with the uh, the ruling, uh, which had a metal frame, I believe, and a really nice action base. Um, very, very nice kit, very posable, and it's just, just a nice kit. So, I'm hoping that this is more of the same. I've tried to not look into this too much. Other people have built it. Other people have got it already, and they're, they're, you know they're absolutely fucking um, um, you know amazed by it. Um, some some for some people it was their first dive into this sort of genre uh, of model kit. Uh, they've said they've got nothing but good things to say about it. So I've sort of kept myself in the dark. I know of it. I know it's got Gatling guns and and other weapons and stuff like that, and it stands well with the. Master Grade, Sazabi and Sinanju. Um, should you want to fold this in with your your Xeon boys, I'm pretty sure it will it will look just fine. So uh, the box is quite long. Uh, it's a bit of an uh, you know an odd shape box. Uh, normally um, they're a bit different. The rolling was a bit smaller than this, uh, almost half the size, but a little bit deep. So this has got a lot more going on, which is why the box is so big. It doesn't have too much in the way of promotional stuff, just like some, some you know, some promotional shots and whatnot. And it's just like the box art and like some, some line work on the back, which is pretty cool. It is, you know, it does the job. And it's called the Lizard. 900 parts, metal pre-coating, don't know what that means. Complete skeleton. Uh, so it probably comes with a skeleton. Whether it's metal or ABS, I'm not sure, but it might come in a separate box. We'll have to check that out. And armor deployment, which I'm not sure what that means, but it might mean that some of the armor um, moves and it's got some gimmickry and stuff like that. So without further ado, we're going to check it out. We're going to have some words that I'm going to say about it and uh, move on from there. 
All right, if you can hear something in the background, that is my washing machine. I do apologise. I'm doing this in the morning. Um, I'm still quitting my dressing gown, as always. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to get into it. This box is not going to be kept. I'm going to throw the box because it is damaged, so I could care less if I rip it. And it's upside down already. Typical fashion. I always get it wrong. It's like a USB, you know? You get it, you get it right, then you get it wrong, then you get it right. But, there we are. Okay, so, in the box, typical in-era fashion, some really nice moulding, really crisp plastic, and decent looking uh, sculpting on the ABS uh, for the parts for the interface, and there's some translucent blue parts here. Another uh, inner armour. Uh, in era China 2024, so it's a brand new kit for this year. Um, so they might have printed, they might have like developed it last year and got it printed this year, got it out. There's some small parts on this kit as well. I like small parts. Oh, hello, we've got some chromed parts. Well, they're not chromes, but like they're like a, a brushed aluminium. Uh, paint which is really nice. I do like a warm aluminium rather than like a chromey aluminium. So that's nice It does look more metal than than you think and we have a nice bronze It's like a, almost like a, a rose bronze uh, Paint as well, which is really nice. It's not undergated uh, I don't believe or some parts are but these, these parts aren't, but I think where it's not undergated, it doesn't matter because there's going to be like a sleeve over it or another part that's going to sort of hide the, the edging, so you're only seeing the face. So it's no harm, no foul, really, uh, unlike Bandai when they do their special coatings and they do not give an absolute toss about your, your, your final look when it comes to special coatings or metallics. They really do not care. <clears throat> As you all know, uh, undergating really is important when it comes to like painted plastic or special coatings and stuff. Uh, leave your comments down below if you've got any any horror stories or any kits that you think that Bandai should have um, undergated. Um, special coating Tall Gaze 3, uh, or is it Tall Gaze 2? The special coating Tall Gaze 2, which was a Expo exclusive, really expensive kit. And uh, it was gifted to me... Um, uh, by Stephen at Gumpa.co.uk when we went to Comic Con last year. Sadly, I built it and it was an absolute train wreck. Um, so, yeah, Bandai really do need to up their game when it comes to undergating because it's all down to the tooling, you know. Uh, so, these look like the magazine clips or the belt clips, uh, which make up the, uh, the, the, like I say, the magazine belts for the Gatling guns. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a couple of these. Um, in here, I don't believe like that. That's that. That's going to be for both. I think there's going to be more of these. We'll, we'll keep an eye out for those. <clears throat> if if not, that that doesn't look like that's going to make much of a belt. One, two, three, four, possibly. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. So I think there's four guns. I think there's four belts. Uh, speaking of the guns, uh, here are the barrels on here, um, and I think there's four sprues in here, so each one of these makes a gun, I'm pretty sure, and it does look like a brown plastic, um, like a, like a dark blacky brown, it's quite nice, offset with the grey, it's a nice contrast, more inner armour, which kind of reminds me of Sazibi parts, um, from the real grade, uh, like the the legs on the on the real grade are really nice detail and pipe work and vents and stuff like that. What next? <clears throat> okay, this looks like it might be pom. Um, doesn't say what type of plastic it is, but definitely cut off the uh, a bit, a bit of the sprue and test your super glues and stuff against what type of plastic this is. I don't know if this is ABS or POM, um, but it's quite, quite solid. So yeah, definitely check out. I don't know. It might say in the manual what, what type of plastic this is, but just be wary when using cements and stuff. 
some effect parts here uh, for the weapons. You get two sheets of these because I think there's two axes. Um, or tomahawks. Uh, there's some thin blades as well as the effect blades as well. And they are in a nice golden yellow. We have some darker aluminium here. This is like a dark aluminium. Or almost like a steel, but not quite. And it's very, very nice. Very nicely done. I do like it. And if you put a wash over this, it makes it even really nicer. Even It makes it really nice and gooder. Uh, it's, it just puts some shading in there and gives it a bit of depth. Uh, so you don't necessarily have to paint on top of this. Just a wash. And it brings out all the vents and the shadows. And it adds, adds more depth to it. And you can give it a, a, light, a, a light, light brush. Once you've done the shadows... Get yourself like um, almost like a light aluminium and you just give it a light dry brush. Don't go mad, just like minimal, minimal, minimal paint on it and just go over the edges and whatnot. And you create a low light, high light, and that actually gives it more depth, makes it pop even more. But if you, that's if you can see the parts, if not, you're wasting the time because all the stuff is just hidden generally most of the time. But if you want to do it for promo shots or whatever, then it looks good. Uh, some more brown uh, armor parts which is really nice. does look like it's uh, going to build up really well. Uh, when it said um, like it had a, a skeleton frame, I was worried that like a lot of the build process was going to be like lost. But it looks like you're going to get a very, very small inner frame, I guess, and then you sort of build up all of the these parts on top of it, which was like the, uh, the ruling, I believe. So I'm excited to see that. Okay, right, I was right about the, the bullet belt. There, There's more. There's more. So rest assured you'll get your, your, um, your PTSD is going to be real after this kit because there's going to be a lot of cleanup with these, um, these belt parts for the Gatling guns. Uh, there's some green parts as well, which is kind of, kind of weird to see. I didn't know there was any green on this kit, so it's kind of cool. Um, and there are some what look like some hidden chest Gatlings. Uh, and these look like some engine thrusters that might go in the legs and some piston details and whatnot, as well as an action display stand uh, leg for the base. Okay, some more grey parts uh, for what look like the legs and the arms, the shoulders, and more, more, more Gatling gun spherical parts as well really, really nice sculpting really clean uh undergated uh yes in parts and in others no where it's not needed they haven't bothered where it's needed they have and that's what you want okay so there's some more inner frame parts as well in a really nice ABS, as well as the action display stand, which is very, very similar to the rolling, if not identical, which is nice. And that does come with um, a plaque, and I'm assuming a piece of plastic as well, because uh, you, you can put the paper, which is like, the, the, you know, the lizard, and then you slide in this like protective plastic sheave over the top. Really, really nice effort from them, um, and it's like a really, really good touch and unique. Not many, not many model uh, companies do that, so it's nice that they supply a decent action base with a kit, which is it just adds more, more better, gooder. Some more ABS here uh, with what look like the handles for the axes uh, or the tomahawks going to be building this today and it's a nice sizable uh, manual again what we like to see from China uh, is a nice big meaty manual there are some marking descriptions here so I'm assuming there is some water slides with this kit some more art line work there It does come with some springs and wires. Okay, Amex. Springs times two, wires times two, stickers, water decals, base decorative cardboard. Nice. 
Um, trying to find that random sprue that was on its own, but it's not shown here in the parts list. Uh, that one that one sprue that had two parts attached to it it's not on this uh, parts list so whether that's used or not i'm not sure because there are parts on here that you're not using for for some strange reason i don't know whether there's going to be like a a second edition to this kit or whether this this kit has got like alterations and whatnot that comes like a little plaque as well so i think there might be like a little sticker that you put on there and you might be able to get a little figure to, to stand here like get yourself a little char if, if you would like char to pilot this you, you know get your one 100 char on here so okay it's saying to like be, like the build process just looks like a normal model kit so i don't understand where the metal frame comes from or where the metal frame goes because it looks like you are legitimately building it all up. So that's kind of it's baffling me a little bit. So yeah, we are learning. Uh, but that's a really nice uh, manual. With artwork on the back. Much like the ruling. Very, very similar in, in sort of scope. Okay, right, next. Lizard. <laughs> okay, it's another box within a box, and this one has been sealed by in era. Um, I don't again. I don't know whether this is a first edition or what, because I know there's a limited edition version of the the lizard. I don't know what edition this is. Uh, so comments down below if you know whether this is a first edition or or not. Um, but I don't know what's in this box. We're gonna find out. I need a knife. <clears throat> Sorry, yeah, so it's a bit of a bit of a janky day. Yeah, the washing machine's finished, finally. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a janky video today, as always. Oh, hello. I was wondering where all the red parts were. So, I don't understand what they meant by metal uh, armour. I was expecting like a, a metal inner frame and I wasn't seeing it. I wasn't seeing the, the potential for it. So that kind of, that's kind of misleading. So it doesn't have an, uh, a metal frame. Uh, I'm assuming that they mean that this is metallic plastic or metallic coating, but it doesn't look metallic at all, just glossy. Um, it's like a glossy matte. It's very strange to... to uh, to explain it's not glossy like the Sinanju, uh, but it is in parts here but then it's kind of matte in other spots it's uh, unusual but still looks crisp still looks nice um, so yeah when they say metallic coated or metallic armor or, or metal armor I, I'm like, okay sure it might just be like a lost in translation thing, but it doesn't have a full metal inner frame. And these are the wires uh, which are going to be for the bullet belt, uh, where you slide the uh, parts on. And this is that really, really nasty waxy plastic. You definitely got to wash your hands after handling. This plastic is nasty. And I remember when I got the Meng. Uh, either one unit, the big, the big one. Um, it, all of the sprues come in this plastic, and it's very nasty. There's an awful feel on your fingers, and there's a couple of springs in there as well. And I don't want to keep touching that. I need to wash my hands now. No fingers to mouth. Um, right, okay. So there's some foils, uh, foil stickers, and then a sheet of water slides, and the card, as well as a plastic protective sheet over that. Uh, let's have a look. Don't need the knife. Also, I heard that the, uh, the there is a kit from China at the moment that's being recalled. 
um, because the plastic has been making people uh, been giving people like really sore skin and stuff. I think it's the um, the Nighthawk, uh, not Nightingale, um, the the real grade scale Nightingale sort of thing. Um, there's, uh, there's some news going around that it's uh, giving people some bad skin. I still want to get that kit, but I don't know whether I'll get it before or after the recall. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, here's the base uh, artwork, and it does come with this what looks like a FEP sheet from a 3D printer. Um, it's not completely clear. It's like, well, it's just plastic, and it goes over the top so you can protect the artwork. That's kind of cool. And that is included, much like the ruling. Oh man, my fingers feel really weird. So yeah, that is what is included in the box. I'm going to be building, oh, sorry. A little little garden reveal there. I will be building this today on stream on recording. This is Monday, the X of November. I can't remember what day it is. I've been at work. I've slept. It's weird. Uh, but yeah, I'll be building this today. Don't drop knives on the floor, especially where your feet are. Uh, but yeah, going to be building this today on stream from one p.m. Uh, this video is probably going to go out around a similar sort of time. So if you're watching this video, I will be, probably be streaming um, and building this. So if you want to come along, please do. Oh, pardon me. Over on Twitch. Almost, bloody hell. I've got to stop burping. Uh, all my socials are down below. Um, and as always, uh, I will see you there. I really, really appreciate you guys. Uh, sorry my video is really coming out really slow. Um, it's just that I'm going through the, the process of buying a house. So it's kind of like money's um, being like sort of like shrinked down on, on what I can spend and stuff like that. But I saw this at a decent price. I could pay PayPal times for it so I could spread the cost. Um, and I can get this built uh, on stream for you guys, show you how it goes together. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. I really, really appreciate it. If you like the video, if you got this far, please consider uh, giving me a like because uh, it goes a long way. And if you fancy pressing that subscribe button, I'm not going to do the whole spiel. I try not to do it because I just think like if you're going to, if you like the video, you're going to like it. If you if you're going to subscribe, you're going to subscribe. You know, I don't want to go do into anything um, like all the other YouTubers do. But if it works and it, and it helps the channel grow, then go for it. I really, really appreciate it. It goes a long way, like I said. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go build this, and I will see you next time. Thanks, guys. Because I have $30,000 in credit card debt. When they call, I tell them I can't pay it back yet. Credit card debt.